Ah, you look great. It's good to see you. I'm so happy you're here. Now, didn't that make you feel good? And that's how dogs greet us all the time. And that's how most dogs always make us feel. They make us feel like we're the most important person in the world because we are to them. Um, in this video, I will be talking about why I think dogs are very important. And I have several topics to talk about, but first we're going to start with how they teach us responsibility and patience and to prepare for other things. Um, dogs teach us responsibility by us having to feed them and give them water every day and play with them, make sure that they're staying active and healthy. Um, they teach us patience by if you've ever had a puppy, you know how destructive they are and they chew on everything and they tear things up and they go to the bathroom in the house, but they don't know any better. It's a new environment for them. Um, so they teach us patience by us calmly taking care of the situation, cleaning up after them um, calmly and trying to teach them how to maybe not do those things anymore, but in a nice way uh, that they'll understand with some positive reinforcement. Uh, they teach us how to prepare for other things in life, like potentially having babies. They prepare us for that by us having to take them to their appointments for vaccinations and anytime they like break a tooth or something. Uh, they teach us how to prepare for other things by us just having to keep them alive. Uh, it's a constant thing. It's not like you can take care of your dog for a week and then take a week off. You have to take care of your dog every single day. Uh, my second point is service dogs. They are very important to people who have mental and physical disabilities, um, whether it's someone who has seizures you know you've seen the videos of the dogs trying to the service dog trying to nudge their head to the side so that they don't choke um, you've seen the videos of dogs laying or sitting on their owners when they're having a panic attack and even people who have physical disabilities like maybe they don't have all of their limbs or something and you've seen where dogs have ropes tied to the doors and then they can open the door that way for their owner. Um, my third point is our dogs keep us in shape. Maybe not all dogs. The small dogs kind of just do their own thing. But the big dogs especially, um, they need to run, they need to play, they need to stay active. Um, you see people running, jogging, walking with their dogs all the time, or playing frisbee with their dogs in the park. At that point, you've grown to love your dog, hopefully, and you want it to live a long, happy, healthy life. And one of the ways they can do that is by staying active and by you helping them stay active. You can't just put them in the yard and expect them to just go do it themselves. Um, you have to play with them whether it's tug of war or tag dogs love to run um so dogs are just all around super great and important and i think we should all have one and i know there are a lot of local places who have dogs up for adoption some of them are free some of them do have an adoption fee but it's typically less than a hundred dollars and the dog has all their vaccinations and they're neutered or spayed um, so i just encourage everyone if you have time for it because it does take a lot of time to go get a dog um, and definitely adopt don't shop but i hope everyone enjoyed this video and i hope that everyone can open their hearts to a new friend that they can take care of for the next 15 years Thank you.